Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez once again. I hope you enjoyed this past Sunday's live stream. We had Mike Lee with us and I answered a bunch of questions as well. We hope to continue to see you guys every Sunday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, United States. So today I want to talk about something that really stumped me and it was really, really strange. All you guys that have Windows 10 computers, you must be aware there was a huge update just recently. And of course, it also came down automatically for me. During the night, my wife's computer was rebooted. My computer had rebooted as well. And I thought nothing of it. Everything seemed to be working fine. Remember, I have 17 printers installed at this point. And I decided to do a video concerning the Pro 1000 and this gorgeous system that we are running with right here. And I try to print something and it began to print. And I noticed, by the way, it didn't do much of anything after having been turned off. Oh, I left a little factor out. We had a mild power outage for maybe five seconds. We had a storm that came through here the other day. And I thought, okay, let me check everything. Came down, powered everything back up. This didn't really do a cleaning cycle. And I'm going like, that's weird. I like that, but I thought it was weird. So then I prepared some jobs and I decided to start printing. And to my surprise, nothing happened. The paper advanced about half an inch. It loaded and the printhead just parked itself to the right and did nothing for the next half hour. And I thought, that's weird. Powered it back off powered it back on again. No cleaning cycle. What's going on? Well, long story short, after hours and hours of screwing around with this and, well, saying a few expletives, I decided, okay, fine. I'm going to reboot my computer and I'm going to remove the driver. I'm going to delete that printer. So I did that, downloaded the latest driver from Canon for the Pro 1000 installed it and I decided at that point to install the wireless installation as well. Went ahead and did that on the screen and you have to enter your passwords for your Wi-Fi and then I went ahead and click OK and it installed it and I've been thinking okay let me try to see if I can actually print anything. Let's see if it'll print anything at all. So I decided to just to do a test print directly from the screen and it did it. So again, I was feeling pretty good at that point. I went over to my computer, opened up QImage and loaded an image, made a 13 by 19. And sure enough, it printed it fully. And so again, I'm still scratching my head as to what happened. I just did this one a few seconds ago and printed beautifully. And again, the whole idea was to continue daily to test this basically by running prints like this. I have a brand new box of paper, 50 sheets. I want to do it like 50, 13 by 19s. Well, nearly. And uh, begin to monitor the system once a cartridge reaches a certain volume, which is around 20 ml from empty. One of these lights will turn on and the corresponding matching light should turn off. Everything worked before, and I think it was the update. I don't think it was a power outage because we had a second one just yesterday and nothing happened. I turned it back on and today I was able to print that particular image right here. So keep that in mind. I just got a question on my YouTube channel comment section. Someone's having problems where the Pro 1000 is just stuck in a kind of loading mode. And again, he claims that it was directly after the Windows update. So be aware of that. I know this happens with the other operating system as well. Sometimes the driver becomes incompatible and these companies just don't update automatically. But this was a little daunting for me because I couldn't figure out why the heck this was happening. And I thought I was beginning to panic a little bit. I thought maybe this had something to do with it, but it couldn't possibly because this is not connected to the printer at all. Okay, so it had to be something else directly related to either the driver or the printer itself. And it ended up being the driver. 
I actually closed and reopened the Windows printer spooler and that did not help at all. So sometimes it would print maybe an inch and then just stop completely. The printer would just move to the right and remain there. So I'm glad it's working now and we'll continue making prints on a daily basis. And then we'll be able to then monitor when a light comes on and I'll show you how to proceed to refill this the proper way. All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And as always, happy printing, everybody, and bye-bye.